God sends. Huh? If you don't set it, it will crease like a bitch. It is. Ah, there's dog hair in my eye. Bear with me. <laughs> Just a simple everyday eyeliner. <laughs> I've got a tiny bit left. Oh crap, I didn't fill in my hairline. My brow pencil. I do have some sp stuff that is specifically for filling in your hairline, but do I have it to hand? No. And also it's ever so slightly too warm. So I'm just gonna use my brow pencil. I've recently seen girls on TikTok dyeing their hairline with either beard dye or like lash and brow dye and like dyeing all the little baby hairs around their face to make their hairline look fuller, which I mean, I would totally be down for. However, they don't make it in my hair color. <laughs> I don't even know if that made it any better. <laughs> Anyway, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking through and showing you, putting on my face, some of my current favorites. I wanna say some of my current favorites. I've got quite a lot. <laughs> so you know what, I'm just gonna get into it and I'm really gonna try and make this concise and not ramble too much. So wish me luck. Also, now that everything's kind of, now that everything's kind of buried, I can't see everything. So I feel like I'm gonna to forget to do stuff in the right order. You know, it's mostly makeup stuff as usual. There's a couple of skincare bits, couple of fragrances. I'm just gonna get cracking with the first thing, which is the REM Beauty Primer. Oh, and I've just realized you can kind of see through it. I've used it down to about here. It's a very odd texture and I didn't really think I was gonna like it. It's a gel mousse, not really mousse. It's a weird gel consistency. It's pretty much the exact same consistency as their eye cream. And I'm a little bit skeptical that maybe it's the same as the eye cream just in a tube. But either way, that's fine by me because it works really nicely on my face. My skin type is really weird. If you've watched my videos for a while, you will know that my skin is oily, but then in the past sort of like, I don't know how many years, four years, I've had different eczema issues on my face and like my skin has become very sensitive to different ingredients and I found out that I was allergic to certain ingredients, which is what caused it. It feels hydrating. I find that it just makes a really nice smooth base for my foundation to go on top of. It doesn't like ball up and go weird. It just feels very nice on my skin because it's not very liquidy. It's not like super glowy and it definitely doesn't add any oil to my face. So that makes me think it is more targeted towards oily skin, but then I haven't had any issues with it like on any dry patch as long as I moisturize any dry patches that I've got beforehand, I am really liking this primer. You know what, let me just very, very quickly do skincare stuff just because I have my skin on show right now before I put a foundation on. So in general, I try to keep my skincare routine very simple. This isn't sponsored by the way. I mean, I have previously mentioned that I like cut down my skincare routine a lot because my skin was going through so many different issues, which it still does. And occasionally I still react to certain things, which recently I reacted to a concealer that I was testing. I just wanna say it is not the fault of the brand, which is why I'm not gonna say which brand of concealer it was. It's not the REM Beauty one. That's also in my favorites. It was entirely my fault. I didn't check the ingredients before using it. I just used other products from that brand before and thought it would be absolutely fine. Um, but no, then like my face just flared up crazily with eczema and was going really dry and itchy. And ironically, I was using the concealer to try and cover the redness. And then I checked the ingredients and um, yeah, there's something in it that I'm allergic to. But because of that, my skin's been a bit of like a wobble. Usually I use my Dermatica prescription, which is like a monthly thing, which I have worked with them before. This is not an ad for Dermatica, but I have done sponsored stuff with them before. I had to stop using that for a couple of weeks and just like really let my skin heal. And the things that really helped it heal, the main things are these three little godsends. If you have very dry skin or dry patches on your skin, one thing that really, really helps is to something to help lock the moisture in. So I would use like a moisturizing product, which I have a couple I'll talk about in a sec. But then I will either go in with the Ren Evercalm Overnight Recovery Balm. It kind of looks like a tub of Vaseline. And honestly, you can. I have used Vaseline in the past to like on top of moisturizing skin products to like lock it in so that it doesn't all evaporate or like disappear during the night, but I would only use these three things at night time. I wouldn't use it like under my makeup because it's just too oily. It doesn't burn when you put it on your skin. Just reading a bit about it, it says that it provides targeted treatments for skin dryness, sensitivity and irritation reinforces the natural skin barrier and improves skin regeneration. And it's got moisturizing stuff in it as well. It's got jojoba and sunflower oil. So not only does it help to sort of like lock in the moisture in your skin, it also has moisturizing stuff in it. And it's really, really, really good stuff. Another product by Ren, I kind of like switch it up between either of these two. This one I'd say is a bit more intense. This one is more of just like an oil. It's the Ren Evercalm Barrier Support Elixir. And I basically just put like a couple of drops onto my face after I've done my moisturizing 
cleansing stuff and I would just like rub this all over my face and leave it overnight. But this one's consistency is like a very liquidy oil. They are both so good for repairing my skin barrier, which was absolutely destroyed. And now I think my skin's looking pretty good. And I've been able to start using my Dermatica again. My spots are slowly clearing up because I, like when I, in the time that I stopped using it, I broke out on a load of spots. Oh, hello. But we're finally getting back to a good place with my skin. Oh my God. And the other thing, this I actually think is my favorite out of all of them. However, this is the most expensive out of all of them. The others, they are like high-end skin products, but honestly, cannot get enough of them. If anybody knows of like a cheaper alternative to stuff like that, let me know. But out of, I've tried so many skincare products that are supposed to help with like dry, irritated skin. Those are incredible. This is incredible as well. It's the Drunk Elephant Wonder Wild Miracle Butter and it says it's marula butter meadow foam oil again it has a whole load of moisturizing stuff in it and it's a very similar consistency to the Ren one, again, looks kind of like Vaseline. I have to say, I have tried stuff like the Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream and I've tried different lip balms on my skin, but they sting. These two don't sting and I don't wanna waste that bit of product because this is 33 pounds. I will say as well, I was gifted these things, but by no means does that change my opinion on it. You know how it is. It's just a lifesaver. Absolute lifesaver. I'm waffling way too much. Okay, finally, two skincare things that I've actually nearly used up and love, and I'll put these un underneath those, are the L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which is an affordable one. Damp face, put on um, three drips of this, rub it all in. Sometimes, if I'm feeling extra and my skin is super dry, I will then put on this, which I'm nearly out of. This is the... Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. So it's another hyaluronic acid product. Incredible moisturizer. I recently saw actually James Welsh talk about this and I trust the Welsh twins. He loves this stuff and I love this moisturizer and will be repurchasing it. It's just such a nice texture. It's not too thick. It feels kind of like a gel, but it's so hydrating. Whack on one of the other three things, wake up and my skin looks so much better if I'm going for a flare up. The end of my skincare stuff. This, oh my God, this L'Oreal Age Perfect BB Cover. I've got the shade Light Beige 02. It is so good. The other day when I was wearing this, James even said to me and went, oh, your skin looks nice, you're glowing. And I was like, huh? Like James never comments on my makeup, but this makes your skin look incredible. Let me just put on a tiny bit more. Dry skin, you will love this. I would maybe even go as far to say this might be my favorite L'Oreal product in terms of foundations. Actually, no. It's a different kind of product to the Infallible foundation, which is another one of my all-time favorites. But, oh my God, this brush as well. Loving this brush. It's one of the Morphe Vegan brushes. V100 brush. Really nice brush for blending this in. And this stuff. It's just a dream. It blends so nicely. It's really, really lightweight. It feels thin. It gives your skin a glow. It's got good coverage. You can build it. You can put on a little bit and it's not got like tons of coverage or you can put on a lot and it's got really good coverage. And every time I wear this, my skin just looks so nice. My makeup goes so well. And yeah, I love it. Like, I'm sorry. Just show you how you can build it. See if it will just cover my scars. Most of this stuff I have mentioned in videos before, by the way. I just wanted to give you an update on stuff that I'm loving and have continued using because I feel like these videos are always helpful. But look at my skin. Let me give you a close up. My concealer favorite at the moment goes to REM Beauty. The sponge I regret buying though, and I haven't really used this since because it's just too small. So I just use it with my Coco Cosmetics by Chloe Sponge, which is still a favorite. I'm starting to make a little dent in it. I've got the shade Light 4G and it's the REM Beauty Sweetener Concealer. That drop from REM Beauty was the best uh, stuff that they've done. Like the primer and the concealer, so good. Also the new lip products are really nice as well. Oh my God, I've got one of those in here too. And then I've got the shade Deep 1N, which I've really been enjoying as contour. I'm not gonna use it as contour today because I have used this very recently in a video for my contour and I've got another thing to show you. It blends really nicely, it covers really well, it's got nice coverage. It probably does actually apply best with their little sponge. I like how you can layer it and as long as I set this really well I don't find that it creases. If you don't set it 
it will crease like a bitch. But if you do set it, I found that it lasted so well throughout the day. And I wore this to a wedding the other day. I think maybe if your skin is like really, really, really dry and you have lots of like dry patches, you may not like this unless you've really well moisturized underneath. But when I tested this the other day, my under eyes were really dry and I still found that it was fine. I just really like it. And it's got 60 shades. So let's just see on these little blemishes. I've actually got too many favorites and I was switching it up between all of these. So for my cream contour, I was on a mission to find like the best cream contour. The e.l.f. putty bronzer. I have got the shade Honey Drip. I've been using this a lot recently and it's a really nice cream contour. And it's like six pounds, I think. Since my video where I tested the Beauty Crop, I've been using this quite often, which is the Beauty Crop Vitamin Babe Full Coverage Concealer. And I've got the shade 15N. You literally need like one dot on your cheek. If you have a little look on my channel for the video where I tested viral TikTok makeup, I, I think it was, or like TikTok made me buy it. I tested this concealer and that, and it's so nice. But the winner for me, and I think I must have mentioned this in a few videos now, right? I think this is, okay, I think this is the best cream contour I've ever used. I may actually go that far. It's the Rare Beauty Happy Soul Bronzer Stick. I've used it so much that the label has nearly worn off the bottom of it. It's all scratched. I've still got this much left, so, you know, it's still going strong, but you need the tiniest bit. You just do a little, like, dot like this it kind of melts into your skin um this particular shade is the perfect shade for me so if you just see how easily this blends it's just effortless it's just effortless watch this okay i'm gonna not i'm not gonna edit any of this out so watch my cheek you just tap over it and it just melts into the rest of your face and then obviously I will go over it with a sponge. But yeah, nothing much more to say. You can see it for itself. It's just incredible. And this brush, again, one of the Morphe Vegan Collection brushes. This is the V105 brush. This is the perfect little nose contour brush. You know what? The Rare Beauty Concealer brush is actually also a really good nose contour brush. But this, I feel like was just designed for nose contour because it's that kind of shape. Get a nice straight line. I do that and it looks quite harsh and then I just go over it with my sponge. I've got two blushes to rave about. They're both drugstore. We've got the Beauty Crop Juice Pot Lip and Cheek Tint in the shade Lychee. I tried this really not too long ago. I've only been using it for a few weeks, but I can already tell like from that it is, ah, there's dog hair in my eye. How does that even happen? Beautiful. It is incredible. It is such a good liquid blush you just need like two little dots and i think this is gonna last me forever and i really like the shade of it and then another favorite is the elf putty blushes isla del sol is one of the glowing blushes from elf and i'm gonna use this one today and then i might add a bit of the beauty crop one over the top this looks really scary in the pan it looks like it's gonna be way too bright but it's really really buildable do you see what i mean it looks terrifying in the thing but when you actually put it on, it's so much more sheer than you think it's gonna be. So you can really build it up. So I think this will work on a lot of different skin tones because it's very easily buildable, but it's just a really cute color. And again, they blend like a dream. So as you can see, it's just sort of melted in with the rest of my makeup. The same on the other side. Oh my gosh, and another drugstore liquid blush. That's another recommendation. The Roxy Revolution new blushes. Those are really, really nice as well. I've just got too many to put on my face. Moving on. Oh wait, no, not moving on because I was going to put a tiny dot of this one on as well. I'm going to be way too blushy now, but I don't care. Just adding a bit more pink. I look how far one dot spreads. Maybe I'll just turn myself into a clown. <laughs> But it's okay, this is why I love cream blush. And then just take your sponge and go over it and just dull it down. Face powder. Okay, so I was using the Beauty Crop powder. However, I realized that when I don't have tan on, the Beauty Crop powder is too dark for me. I really like it as a powder, it works really nicely. However, I think it kind of oxidizes ever so slightly. A drugstore powder, which believe it or not, I had never tried. Maybelline fit me. This has been around for what, 10 years? I don't know why I'd never tried it. Um, I ended up buying it in three different shades, but this one is my favorite. It's the shade 105 Natural Ivory. And it looks like this. It does have a little like mirror and it did have a little sponge, but God knows where that's gone. But with this, the Primark Powder Puffs, they come in a pack of three. Um, These are so soft, the big ones, not the little baby ones, because the little baby ones have kind of got sharp 
sharper edges but these are just so soft and squishy and they apply powder so beautifully i need to try washing it actually i will always always blend out my under eye creases before going in with powder but <laughs> bear with me take some of this on and I have really been enjoying it and I just can't believe that I'd not tried it sooner because for a drugstore powder I think it's really nice obviously I've tried the loose one the American loose one that comes in like the packaging like this which is one of my favorite powders of all time it also adds a tiny little bit of coverage not too much but just a little bit so with that Maybelline powder what I would do sometimes is just take a tiny bit of loose powder because I find that it doesn't sort of set my face like completely fully fully matte well it is but also like it it lets some of the glow kind of through so sometimes what i would do is just take a tiny bit of loose powder just under my eyes but i think if you have dry skin you would like that maybelline powder i mean i know it's been around for years and i'm very late to the game this little palette from vive i took it with me to the lake district i took it with me to a wedding recently it was the only like powder bronzer blush highlighter that i actually used on my face at the wedding they do it in different shades i think i've got the one dawn which i think is the lightest one brush as well this this is actually the Vive powder and bronze brush and I've been using it with it. This little palette is £39 I believe but I really like it. The bronzer isn't too orange and it's also not too pigmented so I just add a little bit of extra bronze. What I've actually been doing, little thing that I uh was inspired by Kendall Jenner to do, <laughs> is to use a big brush for my highlighter. But what I've actually been doing is mixing the blush with the highlighter. So I'll go like this and then dip into the highlighter. So I get a bit of blush and highlighter on them together. And then do a bit of that. And it just gives the most beautiful sort of glowy, but natural glowing look i just think it's such a nice way of putting highlighter on and then this little morphe brush this is the morphe x aerial brush the what does that say a20 something 20 it's worn off the end extra nose contour it's a really nice palette i really like it and i like how it's got a big mirror and it's not too bulky either they just keep coming i have to give shout outs to these as well very quickly the elf blush in bright pink slash rose is all it's called it's the really cheap one in the plastic packaging this is a really pretty matte blush and it's such a beautiful pink shade it's just a nice change and speaking of peachy tones the benefit shelly blush i absolutely love this okay let me put on a tiny bit more these new benefit blushes are so pigmented that i've not even worn away the shelly name because you dip in and it gets this much on the brush and that is enough for both sides and I love how Benefit changed the packaging so it's slimmer instead of like a huge box. And then, okay, finally, for the complexion products, this, remember this, the Half Magic Highlighter, Light Trap Highlighter, Duochrome Glow Powder in Enter the Glow. It looks like this. Even like in the swatch, it doesn't even look like, okay, no, it does. It does look pretty special. It's like a pink and gold Duochrome Highlighter. But when I really wanted to glow i've added this and it just adds like a wet look i have done a whole video on half magic beauty if anybody's interested it's just one of the most stunning highlighters i've actually ever tried it does have a slight pink undertone though but because i add it over the top of the blush i don't really find that it shows up pink on my skin if that makes sense and then for brows i don't really have any new favorites for brows i've been using my isla brow gel a lot but i think it's in a bag that's downstairs so today i'm literally just going to use the uh revolution brow lamination thing double-ended one what shade have i got granite this eyeliner it's another vive product the vive power ink liner it's up there with the kvd tattoo liner look at the tip of that it is so thin and fine and it's bristly it's not a felt tip it is so black it's really really easy to use it doesn't smudge it lasts like perfectly throughout the day it doesn't go dry like so far it's not dried up on me like midway through using it, which is one of my pet peeves. I think Vive as a brand has just gone from strength to strength. The products are just getting better and better and better. And oh my God, I think they've just launched concealers. I cannot wait to try those. And once it dries, it does not budge. Like it's like pretty much, well, I don't think it claims to be waterproof, but it doesn't move. I'm just gonna do a little graphic liner thing. 
just a simple everyday eyeliner. <laughs> As you can see, you can get crazy detail with this and I just love it. It's amazing. Sky High Cosmic Black Mascara. I feel like I don't even need to mention this. It wasn't even intentionally in the favorites. It's just the mascara that I want to use today. I forgot to do this. I was going to mention the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I love this stuff, but I can't put it on my face right now because I've done my mascara and it will smudge my mascara most likely. So I'm not gonna put this on now, but I did use this semi recently, I think in a video. It's a really nice setting spray. It feels like it just like locks everything in, which is great. So moving on to lip products and then I will end on fragrances. REM Beauty and Rare Beauty. I've got two lip liners here. So the REM Beauty lip liner in this shade, harmonies they're both twist up ones so there's a little swatch of it there but it kind of matches my lip color almost exactly okay it's a slightly bit more cool toned but it's not far off my lip shade which is awesome so i absolutely love that lip liner i really like the formula as well and then also the rare beauty lip liners this one is in the shade fun which is a slightly darker brown again twist ups are so good for putting in your handbag oh my god this is so similar they're really, really similar. The Rare Beauty one is just a bit more of a warm brown. And they're a bit creamier. The REM ones are a bit more matte. Yeah, I don't really need both of those, did I? But the REM Beauty one is a bit more of like a matte, sort of like stay in place lip liner. Whereas the Rare Beauty ones are a bit more creamy and hydrating. I'm going to put this one on the bottom as well. Let me just zoom you out. Oh my God, so many lip products. I've been loving these, which are the Sculpted by Amy uh, Hydra Lip. I really like the shades Bronze and Mauve, if I just swatch these for you. They smell quite sweet, but they're like a really nice hydrating lipstick texture. They're so nice. So that one is Bronze, which is absolutely beautiful. And then this one is Mauve, which is a bit more of like a cool toned pinky color, but they're so buttery smooth and they're so hydrating. They're really, 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 really nice. Sculpted by Amy. The Rare Beauty lipsticks, you know what? This shade, the shade Worthy, this one here. And I also really like the shade Fun, which is the one that I wore with Selena. There is also another shade that I really like, but I can't remember what it's called. And I think it's in a handbag somewhere, but just the Rare Beauty lipsticks in general, like the formula of them is so nice. You know what? Let me put on a bit of Worthy today because I don't think I've worn this one on camera yet. It's kind of the same shade as the uh, REM Beauty Lip Liner, to be honest. <laughs> Another Vive product, the Vive Lip Dew Glossy Lip Oil. There are two shades that I really like from this. There's another more like um, pinky kind of nude one. This one is the shade Pesca. Okay, I think half the reason why I love these so much is the smell. It smells like an old like strawberry vanilla Barry M lip gloss that I used to have as a kid and it's very nostalgic, but they don't really have much color to them. It's more just like a gloss with a tiny tint of color, but they feel so nice. It's not sticky at all. They feel so hydrating. I love the little doe foot. It's like a little chubby little doe foot thing. They just smell unreal. And I think if you're wanting to treat yourself to a lip oil, these are so nice. And this is my makeup, done. I feel very snatched. Finally, the last thing I wanna mention, fragrances. This, I've actually run out of. This should be an empties video, really. The Lancome We oui, La Vie est Belle. I've got a tiny bit left. I had a ma major like pinch me moment a couple weeks ago, right? I posted my little like travel essentials that I took with me to France. And in there, I had my mini one of these, which is literally like this big. And I emptied it on that holiday, like I got through it all. And I didn't even post that I'd finished this one. And then I got a parcel from Lancome with a top up of the big version of this. So I have a replacement, which was so sweet of them. They didn't have to do that. And I was like, what the hell? And it was just one of those moments where I was like, what the fuck is my life? I'm so incredibly lucky and I will never get over that. But this fragrance, I think it's actually my favorite fragrance ever. You know what? I don't really talk about perfumes that often, but I'm actually like behind the scenes, I actually really am into my fragrances. James is also really into his fragrances and he sort of like helps me out with them. But I love perfume and I love switching up my perfume. The We La Vie Belle smells really similar to me. I can't really tell the difference between the two. I think I prefer the original slightly, but like, oh my God. I don't even know how to describe it. Just like sexy, delicious sweetness. It just smells so comforting to me and so sweet and just like warm and I don't even know what notes are in this. I could not tell you. Please feel free to Google it because I'm not good at describing fragrance. But that one is obviously very pricey. Two much more affordable ones, which I'm loving. Um, I've mentioned this one before, I think, on my TikTok. This is the La Librairie Neroli Divine. Actually, maybe I mentioned this in a favorites video not too long ago. To me, wait, no, I think I have mentioned it before because I said that it smells like the body shop 
almond body yogurt, which is very specific. I don't even like almonds. I don't really like the smell of almonds. To me, it doesn't smell like almond. But I think some of the top notes in this are almond and also like a bit of vanilla. This one, to me, smells very vanilla-y, but I don't know how much vanilla it's got in there. It just smells delicious. And then another fragrance that I absolutely love is the Ariana Grande God is a Woman. And this does come in like a bigger, like chunkier thing that looks like stone, but I just take it out of there. It's quite a slimline one, actually. It's a good one to sort of chuck in your bag. I love the smell of this. James also loves the smell of this. It's got a slight hint of bubble gum in it to me. That's what I get from it anyway. It's a very, very sweet one. I really don't know how to describe it. I would recommend just looking up all of these fragrances to see what notes they have or better, like going into a store and smelling them. The only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't last super long throughout the day. It does fade quite quickly, but because it is quite affordable, I don't mind spraying a little bit more. So that is me done. Those are all my favorites. I've waffled for way too long. It's now pitch black outside. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know down below what your favorites are. I hope you enjoyed mine. I will try and link them all down below. If you enjoyed this kind of video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.